recalibration. In fact, we have designed another fully uh, electric uh, injection model machine, uh, which is fully electrical. But uh, now we haven't put it uh, into production. <clears throat> Before that, we are going to launch a patron. So please support us, and we will bring you the fully electrical injection model machine soon. Oh, okay. Here you can find that uh, the DIGG injection model machine. And this injection model machine are designed for universities and uh, labs for such specimen in domestic market. I mean, in China. Um, but uh, as as I have known that uh, because it's pneumatic clapping and uh, mechanical clapping, the clapping force is just uh, uh, six tons, uh, about six tons. So the clapping force is too small. Um, but uh, it's a good injection model machine for a small batch production or prototyping. Um, you can see here that uh, this kind of mold is is not square. Uh, it's kind of, you can see, yeah, the, because between this, you can see uh, the size could be more than 200, uh, 200. Yeah, uh, this plate, uh, the fixed plate, uh, is uh, the weight is three hundred and sixty millimeter, and you can find here. You can see between this, uh, between these two shafts, this size, oh. It's smaller than 200. It's about uh, 160. Okay, so this mold is a uh, is a mold, not square, but uh, um, just this shape. Okay, it's like chopstick. Huh. Okay, so uh, about the the mold cyclis, the mold cyclis, uh, there is a mold here, a stem motor, and this thrust uh, thrust bearing, and uh, it can go back. So the the opening uh, 
cyclists. It's about uh, here is 20, and we can change here. So it's about uh, 38. Yeah. Yeah. So the width of this mo can be almost 38. Yeah, that's the difference between moles for uh, the injection model machine from Rob.dx. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please subscribe and leave us a message. Today I want to talk about the molds. And here you can find the desktop injection model machine. So here you can find that uh, the mold is nearly square. So the size here and the size here. Yeah. Um, also you can find here. So the mold size for this injection model machine is uh, 120 plus multiply 120 multiply uh, 200 millimeter and the width and the width of this mold can be uh, 140 to 200 to 200. How to change this mold uh, distance? As I have said that uh, there are four screws here. Yeah, there are four screws. If we to get it out a, a little, then the mold can be thicker. So we just screw that a bit outside, and then the mold can be uh, thicker. Yeah. Okay. So let's check out another uh, the best seller injection model machine and talk about the the molds. Shu 现在都知道了，后面就不知道了。一走，事后一走，这徒弟又不会了。So <笑> here we can find the screen. Uh, this injection model machine from Robert Dick that you can find uh, there are three language. Three language. First one, Chinese. Second is English. And it's also Japanese. Okay. So we need to go back. PID. I'll go back here. So here is the language setting. We'll come back to Chinese. Okay. You can see that uh, there are three zones. Now the temperature we stayed 180 and 180 and 185 for the three zone. Now the temperature just go up. It takes about five to 10 minutes to reach the temperature setting. The temperature here, now we cover this 
for safety. Okay. So if we can read the, the temperature, first we, we need to check this. Uh, if the collection is good. And another step is that uh, we need to uh, check here because uh, there were many collectors. So that we need to screw to check if it is, if it is northern, okay? So we found that the one of this is northern, so the temperature of the band heater do not go up. So now we find that so the problem is resolved. Mm. So Mm. This
Mount Alderaan. <laughs> 